Well, we're nearing the last week of October, so it's finally cooled off a bit. But I decided to uh, come out here and do some, uh, put some vinyl wrap on the uh, on the dash. I bought that yesterday. Heat gun, hair dryer is not doesn't get it hot enough. <laughs> and well, uh, how's it going? It's so so. Um, I mean, it looks okay. I think this this looks good here. This is the uh, where I keep my CDs. That turned okay, but there was a uh, I didn't get it quite covering all this, so I had another piece. And unfortunately, this piece has got. I'm gonna have to pop these little blisters here. Uh, not perfect, but I mean the top of it. Top of it still looks okay. I mean right here you wouldn't. I mean just this here looks like it was you know factory. And uh, I just, uh, I don't know if it helps if I turn on the light, no, it's not. but uh, right here, I got that in there, I need to go, I cut, I just now cut this excess off here, so I need to go and cut this off here, but then I need to put another piece on this side, and um, it's going to be tricky getting it on here because of the way these vents you know where it's not completely flat and it's going to be, I don't know, I'm just try and see what happens. Uh, this I'm going to leave, I got, I got a, I ordered a vinyl dash kit or how the piece is already cut out but it's like this and it's kind of hard to work with. I'm going to get the more, uh, oh I forget what the hell they call it, anyway, it's a lot more expensive, it's, you know, probably, Four or five times what I paid for that cheap, uh, cheap thing I got. Um, it's more, uh, the one I have, it comes on a sheet like this, and you have to peel it off, like, it's in a roll. Now, it's a more expensive kind, they, it comes into you in a box, and the piece is already, the piece is already cut out, and they're more, uh, they're thicker. I can't think of that word, I'm, <laughs> um, they look more uh they're not just flat it's not just a piece of flat vinyl it actually got some little shape to them it's thicker it looks a lot better so i'm gonna buy that eventually i'm gonna save up a bit uh and then put the piece there for one thing so it'll be black and orange uh these doors here where it's that tan color i'm gonna try to do those vinyl wrap those in orange i don't know if i'm gonna get done everything done today or not but yeah, I'm not gonna do a whole lot. And uh, another piece I had came out here and measured earlier. I'm gonna, um, I'm not sure if that dash kit that I want to buy already has a piece that goes over here. I don't know. It seems like, I mean, that's such, 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 such a big piece. And I think it has pieces for the glove box too. Uh, but uh, these. These these come out real easily, but I don't really want to. I'd rather not do mine, so I th I'm thinking of going to uh, the pick and pull, and getting uh, taking uh, taking uh, these uh, vents out there, and I don't know what the hell this is. It's got a little like an alligator clamp. I don't know if it's like somebody had one of those air fresheners. I keep trying to I'm trying to get that off there. I'm gonna have to get some pliers and pull that off. Anyway, take these ones out of the. Uh, Junker out of the Junker Jeep I found at the auto salvage place. Paint those orange, pop it in here so you know, black and orange. And, um, well, do the ones, the doors in the back too. I think that's going to be it for the vinyl wrapping. I'm really not going to do a whole lot. Um, I know that dash kit has a piece that you could fit on here. Um, hmm, I don't know. I might try. I might try wrapping this. <laughs> Be careful. Well, I mean, it's already in park here, and, and it's not running, so should be should be safe. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pe wrap a piece around there, and so that'll be black, orange, black. Anyway, that's uh, that's all for now. Time to get back to work. Hope it turns out okay. Well, my vinyl wrap of the door didn't go. It was getting way too much air trapped in it, and it was a hassle, so I took it off. 
beside the elephant. Instead, I'm just going to paint it, which is what I've been doing. I've got, I think there's three coats on there now. Give it one more. Just doing these two today. I think that's going to turn out okay. Um, let's see what else. I might put another layer on top of this since you probably can't see it, but it's got some creases there. That part here, I don't know if I filmed this or not, this part turned out okay. So now I need to put that piece over here. Hopefully it'll work. It'll be tricky because of the way that this, this comes out. Cut it around here. I'll tuck it inside there. Take these vents out before I do it. Cut around there. And then I'll do the other two doors. Maybe this weekend. It'll be warmer. I, don't know, I, think, I think that's going to look pretty good, just to have that orange in the bottom. Hell yeah. All right. One here. That one's done. I do the rear passenger. Again, I tried vinyl wrap this part here, and I still couldn't get it. So... I taped all this off here, painted this. Did these vents in orange. Um, right here, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and put some of that vinyl wrap in. If it's flat, it works okay. Put some down here. That's all for now. All right. None of those uh, chemicals worked on getting the powder coated off. So I went to Harbor Freight and got the cheapest grinder they had. And that's what it took. And I thought, oh, you know, what about any scratches? So I was trying to, I was to try to buff them out, and yeah, the attachment that I had on—I mean, I don't know if maybe the drill wasn't going fast enough. I had it up all the way. Anyway, but hell, just paint over. Well, don't don't worry about buffing it up first. And that right there is no big deal because it's got a. Uh, these rubber things that go over it they somehow they fit onto here I took them off because I thought well I'm not gonna I'm not gonna paint rubber so it'll be black here and here and uh, I remove those one fits in here one fits over in here that's just so if you don't want your headlights covered I'm gonna put those back in place I got uh, I did the uh, back of it yesterday with this, so now I'm just going to start. Give a few coats of this, and then once that's done, we'll let, let it dry. Tomorrow, I guess I'll try to put those back on, and then later this week, let's see, see if I can get it installed. Let's see what happens. All right, I got to put it back together. The headlight guards, let's got those back in there. And these rubber pieces that I removed are back on there now. Took me a while to 
wrestle with these, and I thought, just line it up, line, it, line up the end of it, line the end of the rubber up with the end of this, and just slide it on there, you dummy. Spray a little bit of lubricant on there. So I think I'm going to, the directions say something about where the, uh, remove your tow hooks, I think, and, well, mine doesn't have tow hooks, so there's a cup, you know, on the front of the Jeep. Like, imagine that this was the bumper, somewhere around here. There's a part where the tow hooks go. So I'll probably have to cut those out. I want to make, just make sure first. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to take out something I don't have to. So anyway, it's ready to go. Front cross member. This showed up today because on mine there was some damage. You can't see it because I put that on there. Um, under here, there are two holes, and on mine there were, there must have been a, a wreck before I bought. Before I bought it, I didn't know about it until uh, somebody po somebody replied on the Jeep form. It looked like I had some damage done, so I went to a body shop, and uh, this is the part that they said they need a cross member. And of course, you know, local Jeep dealer went to charge me an arm and a leg, so I found this for around 30 bucks plus shipping. And I thought, since I rather than laying on my back and trying to put this together, an advantage of this not having this in here yet is I could uh, put the nut, I got the nut plates in there and I had to fasten them with uh, so this bolt, this washer I mean there's a nut the nut is actually welded onto the plate and slide it up in there and you take your brackets and attach them onto this so like that. I don't want to slip off here. So now that's I got that. Um you tell the guy at the uh body shop but I got the part and they gotta take mine off. I don't know what really what's uh the job entails. Then they got to weld that back, weld the new one in there somehow. I'll leave that to them. I don't have any experience welding, so anyway. Once that's on there, I can be get back to uh, installing the grill guard. I came up with something that I'm going to try. So I won't have to drill or cut. So I took the screws out of this so I can get just to this part here. Put it on here and traced it. It's a magnet. Now this is like, you can put it on your doors if you want like a sign on your vehicle. So cut that. This piece will fit from about here to about here. So the excess, when I cut this off, should have enough to cover the rest. And then I don't know if I'm going to try to uh, attach it with, if I can drill through it. Let's see, how the hell would I do that? Drill Mark it where I could drill. Screws. Put a screw in there. And a washer and a nut. I don't know. It'd have to be a pretty thin nut. Or I could just use some kind of adhesive. I forget what I have in there. Something called Silol or something or other. And then, once that... All that is attached on it. Um... I ordered some of the uh, thinnest 
neo what are they called neodymium light uh, magnets. The ones you have to be real careful if you get like the you know the thick thick ones. The real industrial. These are just real real skinny. They're about I don't have them. They haven't arrived yet. Probably about the size of a dime, maybe even thinner. And I think I ordered like 40, so I'm just gonna put those on. All these freaking mosquitoes. Put those on there too, just reinforcement. And hopefully that will, you know, give it enough strength that I can force it on there. Um, I don't know what kind of coating I could put underneath those, uh, the smaller magnets. I don't think I want that, them just bare touching the roof. So I might, uh, see what I can put on there. Some kind of coating. I mean, 40 of them on there plus that, it shouldn't hold it, I hope. I'll test it. And yeah, this will be, uh, this will come down and I need to get some insulation. That's pretty bad right there. Come down. And it's going to go underneath the weather strip on the, on the, you know, along the driver's side on the windshield and then come down through hopefully I can get it I won't have to go to the inside of the Jeep but anyway for right now I'm just working on a way to get this mounted like I said I don't want to drill I don't want to cut and I kept on flip-flopping my, my head do I want to put these on here or do I want to get instead use a, a roof rack and amount lights to that Okay, I'll do that instead, and I'll go ahead and use these lights. Go ahead, and I'll find your side health. I'll just try this. You know, I've had this, uh, I've had no replies. I wasn't going to sell it. Nobody has replied to it, so just keep it and try it out. That's as far as I've got for now. So I'm going to cut that piece there and see what I can do with that, and then leave it at that. And that's all for now.